back to another Hamdaz VR video and today we're at Nice Airport LFMN um, and this is definitely a Nice Airport <laughs> but um, I am so sorry I'll promise to try not to make these bad jokes again but you know what I uh, I love making bad jokes <laughs> You don't like it? Well, that sounds like a you problem. Um, but <laughs> sorry, I'm being really cheeky. Um, but anyway, guys, uh, yeah, welcome back to another video as usual. And uh, once again, as usual, I love, oh, look at the shadow there. That's so cool. I love doing these experiences in flight sim because like, it's more than just aviation. It's about experiencing new places and, um, you know, exploring and all that sort of stuff. And I forgot to do a clap test for my uh, video sync. So one, two, three, there we go. Um, so I'll give you a bit of context there. I'm sure you can already guess why I just did that. But uh, because I've got two uh, visual and audio streams going, uh, I need to be able to sync everything up. And I do that by doing a distinct clap where I can definitively kind of match up everything i mean without it i can still match up everything don't get me wrong but uh it is so much easier when i do those three claps because you get everything in sync and uh i could just put the videos directly together and get straight to recording so yeah but um as i was saying it's always a very beautiful experience being able to do uh do this kind of stuff because it's like um you can experience new places, etc., etc. And this is really cool. Like now, I kind of have an idea of what, you know, what this place looks like. And if I ever go here in real life, I mean, I've got to be honest. Uh, France isn't. It's definitely not on the top of my bucket list of uh, places to visit. I don't know. I, I I feel like I'm weird because everyone everyone really wants to visit France, but I'm like, oh, I don't really, you know. It's, it's not, I feel bad for saying this, but it's definitely not a place. I, I'd rather go to Amsterdam or something, like, you know, the Netherlands. Um, this is cool. There's a lot of yachts down here. There's a lot of mega yachts anyway. Uh, the scenery and the detail um, is really next level. And I've said it before and I'll say it again, but I cannot wait until um, Microsoft Flight Sim 2024 comes out. That's going to be a real joy. That is going to be a treat. But anyway, let's go onto our base leg here. So I'm, I'm sure there's some nice hotels over there, overlooking the water. Hmm, you'll be able to see some nice sunrises there, that's for sure. All right. Okay, we're on base leg going right over a yachet, right ahead of us. Is that, is that yacht actually moving? Are they animated? It is. That's so cool. All right, set our flaps. That is so cool. <laughs> oh, this is wild. Flight sim is a wild experience. Let's see if we can butter this landing as usual. I'm going to set myself bigger challenges. I want to really fly some heavy aircraft. Well, relatively heavy aircraft like the 737. But big airliners in flight sim is just not VR friendly. Like everything seems disproportional. Like the throttles all the way over there. And obviously I know the throttles are further away in a larger aircraft, but it just seems like exaggerated how far it is and all that. But in X-Plane, it's really good. So I might fire up some X-Plane at some point soon and actually um, do some airliner circuits as well. That'll be fun. I, um, I love flying the big heavies and they're a challenge as well. Cessnas feel like nothing at this point. Like, it's just like, eh, whatever. Um, um, you know, I'm a little bit past my landing point, but we're in a light aircraft. We can still take off again. Oh, this is a terrible landing. We could still take off and land again anyway. So there we go. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to check out the next video and I'll catch you in the next one.